I just popped the lid off the clutch actuator. You can see here, there's very light, it looks like metallic, but actually you can not even feel those particles. It's almost like um, graphite, which is interesting. Now that corresponds to this area right here inside the clutch actuator. The only thing you can see on the inside is just there. Looks like it's coming out of, out of that tube. So that's interesting. But look how beautiful and clean that looks. Uh, looks brand new on the inside, that's for sure. I've pulled the self-adjusting mechanism apart because I'm looking for this source of this metallic dust. You can see on that spring, there's a little shiny section right there in front of my finger nail, right there. And you can also see some little metallics, um, some little particles of metallic around that as well. So really that's just from the spring um, going metal to metal inside of that enclosure there. So that's the reason for the tiny metal fragments here. Very, very light. They're not going to cause any kind of damage, but um, I'm glad I found the source of that. Um, when I put this back together, I'll just put a very light smear of some silicon based lubricant over the top of that and um, at least that'll contain it all. You can also see this is a bit of a source of wear as well. So this basically is the wedge that goes between these two rollers and you can also see there's definitely some wear marks around that also. Not understanding yet how this is some kind of self adjuster. There's nothing on it that's ratcheting. This section here doesn't slide inside here. You can see that it's actually pinned through here. So there's a pin through there. There's a pin through there. So that means this whole assembly that I'm moving backwards and forwards is all one piece effectively. I mean, it's it's three pieces, but it's joined together. Um, that does slide out of there, that's fine. So yeah, I'm just not sure how the self-adjusting part of it and the discussion on setting that to its shortest limit, I'm not sure how that works yet. So I'm trying to work that out. This is the lubricating grease that I'm gonna use. It's called Super Lube and it's a synthetic PTFE multi-purpose lubricant. I think that will be perfect for this job. Well, I'm pleased to say I now understand how this works. So see how these two rollers move in and out. Basically, this wedge pushes between these rollers to move those two rollers out. The idea of that is then, it forces those to grip on the side of this square tube. So what it's actually doing is when the motor pushes on this pivot point, it's pushing down on this wedge, it's pushing these apart slightly, and that is gripping on the casing of the square tube and is pushing this part. So that is how that system works. So that means it's actually quite important not to have grease on these parts because we don't want these we don't want these slipping on the casing of this. So it does also mean it's a little bit tricky to put back together again because okay. So if I keep pushing down here it's going to just push those pulls apart and it's going to grip. So what I need to do is use this part to push down on the rollers. Put that down into that position. Once I've done that, I can push those clips over there. There's one on each side 
and that holds that in that position. Okay, so let's check it at this. If I push just the ball, it pushes those rollers and it locks it up. If I pull this slightly and pull these down, then that allows me to push this down. So this is pushing the wedge down towards the rollers. So in its shortest position is all the way down here, like that. And now it's locked in that position. So again, if I pull that slide down, that is now in its shortest position. That is in its longest locked position. Let's see how that works once we put it back into the assembly. I'm just trying to very carefully move this back around to where it needs to be. Now I can use the opportunity to add a bit more grease. Put some in those ball joints. What I'll also do is I will spray some silicon spray onto this shaft, try and get some lubricant down into there. And I'll also do the same. So where this pivot point is, through here, I'll spray some silicon spray on that as well. I've been to see my old family friend Steely. He's a Citroen mechanic. I've known him for oh, 40 years now. Um, I've got him to get me the clutch and some other parts that I need. So here they are. And I've got the flywheel machined ready to go as well. So now it's just a case of putting it all back together.